What's going on, guys? Episode five of the Playground Podcast here with Taco and Anthony. Yo. Today we're going to be talking about a couple different things and maybe brush upon some things we talked about last week. But starting this off, what I realized is last week we talked about you getting tased. Oh, right? remember that? You got tased. You got tased. Look at but him. <laughs> one thing I did leave out because we were talking about like all these like life experiences and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys I got gassed in the military. Whoa. Tell us you about know, that. Like you got in, in, boot, in boot camp. So it, obviously I'm not saying anything I'm not supposed to, but it's like, you know, so we go inside the gas chamber and, you know, they, they light these, whatever it was, man, and just the scent is going in the air or whatever, like and you're trying to breathe, breathe it in. I don't know what it was. It looked kind of like, like chalk, like they're burning chalk. I don't know what it was, Whoa. but the smell, cause it was like a thing we had to go through in boot camp. And so they're burning it and it's just like, Okay, like it smells weird because you can smell it from outside, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a really weird, weird, I can't even describe the smell, but I, I feel like I can smell it right now. And all the Marines <laughs> out there, I'm sure you guys know that smell, but it's like, it was weird. It was such a weird, like, experience. I know we're talking about you getting tased, and I was like, I don't know why I didn't bring that up. It's okay. So, anyways, yeah, I got I got gas, and it was just a weird experience. They had us, like, work out and stuff. You know how you were doing push-ups? Yeah. How did you push-ups? Did you throw up and doing stuff? Doing jumping jacks. Yeah, and at the end, once you go out, dude, like, just saliva, just, like, it was, like, the size oh, of me. It just came out of my nose, and, like, we were all heck? sick. We were all good after that. Yeah. Nice, it was just man. weird, so... Do they spark it when you're in there, or they spark? I think it's okay. Filled? So it's like people like they go in as like groups, you know. So it's burning like they burn it. Like there's multiple groups that are going in. So you have to like wait and wait, wait and yeah, wait in line, line or whatever yeah. the heck it is. Wait in line. It's like a ride. It's like a ride, dude. You, you but don't like, want to go on. Yeah, a ride you don't <laughs> want to go on, and a ride you're experiencing even before you go in yeah, because like you're smelling it mm, outside. Yeah, so oh, man. that was one thing I was like, dude, like I don't know how. Yeah, I didn't even tell you guys about that. What's like the goal there? Do you have to like, because I did taste for five seconds. Do you have to be there for like a minute inside? Oh gosh, man. It felt like a lifetime inside that thing. <laughs> um, we Just chilling? No, like it was literally like that. Like we were chilling. Lunch? And so we'd have the gas mask on. He told us to like break seal. So you'd have to, obviously I got my beard, but it's like you had to like make sure you can see two fingers inside, like that you're breaking contact with the with yeah. the air to make sure you're breathing this stuff in yeah, to exactly. get like exposure to it and then they do jumping jacks, take off the mat, like do all kinds of different things and dude like people were like screaming, like they just wanted to get out. Wow. It was it was such a weird experience, honestly. Weird. Wow. So, but I mean, I, I to this day I'm like dude, I feel like I just still smell that Was shit. that like the worst thing you think Um, for you? You know what I think really the worst thing is, is you know when people move away from home like they experience that like okay. homesickness or whatever like that was difficult in the beginning yeah. um, you kind of get over that I think the most difficult thing to do is like dealing with like like dipshits almost mm. you know like dealing with people who are just like yeah. <laughs> like just like why you know like you look at someone like mm. why would you do that you know yeah. so I'm sure we probably yeah. all have experienced mm. something where it's just like dude you, did why? you really just say that or yeah. like did you really just do, you know it's stuff like that yeah, where'd so, you come from yeah. where'd you come from it must not be <laughs> anywhere I'm from but yeah, it's yeah. you know it is what it is so um, that was one experience I, you know, I want to share with you guys and Thank the audience. I guess. I mean, I don't know how I forgot that because I remember we were talking about getting beanbagged or <laughs> electrified. Or electrified. Can I run away from it? <laughs> yeah. But the whole, remember the whole point though was to talk about like high school graduates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah, ended yeah, up on that topic. Totally missed that. That but, part was amazing. Yeah. Um, that about. was fun. Was it getting yeah. electrified? Yeah. <laughs> whole five that was a great yeah. story though. Like, that really, was a good. Story. I, you, you made me feel like I was there. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanted to help you when you were yeah. saying it. Yeah. But it wasn't happening yeah. right now. But when yeah. it happened, I would have helped you. Or how about getting tased and being back at the same time? At the That's same torture. time. You might not even That's be able torture. to feel that. When right? It's like, oh, shut up. When you get tased, because um, you can have as much energy as you want mm -hmm. after your taste, all of your body is like fully electrified and like you're just oh. done. You're just fried. Yeah. yeah. You're so fried. Like, I had to sleep like right away. I was like, I need to take a nap. Yes, yeah. I can't function. Wow. I feel like when I got electrified, like when I was a kid, that my body was bending. Like it was bending, like either this way or like, yeah, oh this my way. <laughs> like yeah. my body felt like it was bending. Like I couldn't stop it, uh -huh. and I was that like, is so uh, weird. Yeah. and then I tried to move my hand. I couldn't move my hand. Somehow I let go, and I fell off the fence. Yeah. And I was saying that story, and, and I was laying there, and my body just felt like it was bending. Oh my god. Like a, oh, that's yeah, right. What you got. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how I felt. I'm like, oh my goodness, what's yeah. going on here? I don't, and that's the thing, man. Like, I'm like, I couldn't even imagine being like tasered or 
Yeah, that's. I don't even know how we got on the point of bean. I think I brought up the bean bag thing, but like yeah. just tasered in general, like that's that's nuts. That's nuts. That really is. Yeah, it's, it's such a. Yeah. So <laughs> moving from one thing to another, we're going to be talking about um, Taco and Anthony's dancing experience again this weekend, right? You guys performed or? Yeah. So we had the prelude, uh, Las Vegas, and we got first place at that. So that was a great accomplishment, obviously. And it's like you celebrate, right? But right. you have to move on. Mm -hmm. And as like the leader, I have to definitely move on and prepare the team for the next one that's coming, mm -hmm. which is Hip Hop International. Okay. It's going to be August, I believe the 5th, Bro. 6th, one of those days, mm -hmm. the first week of August. But we have to move on. It's in two months. It's the biggest competition of the year. It's like the Olympics. Six. And um, is it the six? One of those days. I hope it's not. It's here in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. But anyways. Uh, yeah. So I I've been working out with these guys like every single day, mm -hmm. weekdays, right? Yeah. Um, like just grinding, just lifting weights, to trying to keep up with Taco. It's just a hard thing uh, to it's do. It's hard to keep up with Taco. Man. It's a hard thing to do. But um, I took a whole week off from from lifting weights. I told Taco. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if we're going to be consistent, something has to change. And that's me and my time. And so what I did is I sacrificed the gym lifting weights mm -hmm. uh, for a whole week. Last week. Yeah, I remember. And that, yeah. I, I was like in that little lobby. Yeah. And everyone thought I was hurt. Like, I'm injured, like, oh, yeah. what the heck? I'm not injured. Yeah. Like, you're like, are you, are you hurt? Like, you're not working out? Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just like doing the mixing and like dancing and getting ready. So. You were um, still there, though. I mean, I was still I there. Guess something counts, right? Like, if yeah. I'm not there, if I'm not there, I'm at home and trying to do all that stuff. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Distractions and like, no one's there to keep me accountable. And Taco will come in. Hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm doing a mix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He'll make sure, you know. So it helped a lot. But I basically took a whole week off from the gym, and I fo I focused strictly on mixing and and creating dances. And because I did that. Our whole United mix is done. Yeah, we just had our first practice for HHI, the the, the road to HHI, mm -hmm. last night. Right, mm -hmm. the whole mix is done. Uh, we were able to get through two dances versus a half of one. You yeah. know, so we were able to like just uh, dominate. You know, quickly and efficiently yeah. because it's in two months and this is the biggest one. And we have a whole almost like a whole brand new set from right, the previous right, set right. to this one. And so it just felt great, and I, I felt less stressed right, right. to be able to be ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. And this you guys are kind of going in there top dogs almost, right? Oh, no, I would say like top dog. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I would say this. I would, I would say this. Uh, last year we got, our, our last year for Hip Hop International was our first year okay. um, as United Dance Company, as a mega team. Mm -hmm. And we got top five out of the whole USA, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. wow. So that's a great thing. But every year is always different. So mm -hmm. HHI, you're never guaranteed um, to even place. Okay. Yeah. That's how amazing it Some is. Some of those dancers. Yeah, are there's, there's teams from Arizona that are freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. um, teams from like California, which you guys are from. I love California. Yeah. And it's like New York is there, Boston. So the top dogs are the wow. top dogs. And we come from good old Coolidge. You know, in the basement, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and we're just like, that it represent, but yeah, it's just the experience in itself is what I want our dancers to, to feel yeah. and to see because it's exposing, it's exposure, you know, it's like you see like the top notch dancers now mm -hmm. and you think you're the best, you think our team is solid, you think this, but you're like, oh wow, like it's a humble check. Yeah. And, yeah. and once you get humbled. You're like, for me at least, I'm like, dude, like, I want to work harder now. Like, I want right, to grind right, more right. versus, like, you know, because there's two types of people. There's a person that gets like that and another person that gets discouraged. Yeah. They're like, oh, like, I'm not good. You know, it's like, no, no, like, let that be motivation. Like, yeah. like here is the bar, like, for you. This is the bar for you. And then here's the bar that they set. And you're like, dude, there's a new height that I can yeah. get to and then yeah. even pass. And even putting that in, like, a life perspective, mm -hmm. like, you should never be, you never, never should settle for like anything less yeah, yeah than what you really can accomplish and that's exactly. kind of like the same thing what you do for your you know your team is like okay you have the bar maybe set at this level um, but after you see like another dance crew or whatever you're just like wow there's a whole different bracket exactly. so it's like you have to um, really kind of find where you're comfortable in your life but take that comfort zone and just try and like dissolve it because you just always want to progress and get better mm -hmm. whether it's with dancing whether it's with working out mm -hmm. whether it's with you know, 
uh, getting a job you always wanted or you know mm -hmm. just building a company like you have to set the bar higher and higher because mm -hmm. once it you know once you feel like it plateaus or peaks then I mean where's the growth mm -hmm. you yeah. know same thing in life you, you know you never really so will progress so that's it yeah. I mean that's where I take away like as a life experience from from yeah. what you're talking about it's, exactly. it's so cool you know awesome. your dancers I, I'm sure they appreciate I love those guys yeah. I love oh, the yeah. family shout out to United Dance Company I love you guys you guys are crazy yeah. Yeah. and we're gonna make a hopefully make a podcast with some of those guys and get some of them yeah, in there. Sure. Well, hey. just get a different perspective on yeah, elders, down. You know? bring them in yeah, yeah bring them in or a couch right there yeah, <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah actually all not. ten thousands yeah um, <laughs> they're all lined up they're all quiet right um, yeah. so for you um, that's, that's just so cool so we're looking at like August time August time yeah. we'll be ready so keep a look out for that um, until then, we're just grinding. Mm -hmm. You know, we're trying to get this new routine done. And um, as of right now, like the whole studio thing, I know you want me to plug the studio. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're not in the basement no more. So the basement that we're at, you know, we're not in the basement anymore. Oh, wow. Our, our right. time um, for that is kind of like expired, right? Mm -hmm. And um, they're no longer allowing us to use it. Wow. We're super grateful for like all the years that they actually like oh, yeah. let us let use it. Let you use it, yeah. Yeah, because so it's cool. like, that's more important to look at versus like, oh, we can't use it anymore. Right. Because right. it's like, Man, we had no place, and they opened up their house, right? right. So right, right. now we're like in a a weird time where we're we're not like homeless. Transition. Yeah, it's a transition. We're not homeless, but like we had to like really scatter and like call people and like, hey, can we use like this place? Can we use this place for practice? Mm -hmm. Our studio will be closed for like a good month, and then hopefully by that month, by by a month time, we'll have our new brand new building open. Mm -hmm. We'll have United Dance Company practice there. Mm -hmm. We'll have our our, our boys team there, our exile boys team, uh, practice there and have the studio reopen. So until then, we're not gonna have um, like a, a studio, but we are like asking people, and people have been so generous yeah. to open up like uh, like the rec center, you know, mm -hmm. in Coolidge, That's Arizona. So nice, yeah. You know, and and the guy's awesome. You know, he's like keep up the good work, and it's just amazing to see the support. Um, yeah. behind us so I, I want to say thank you to all those people that support us and yeah. love us and are there um, behind us 100% yeah yeah for sure wow for sure that's bro. so cool <laughs> well uh, I mean too. yeah that's so, so when the opening you said the opening is hopefully cool. sometime in July July uh, okay. if not July mm -hmm. we'll have to make a point out there Whoa. yeah I want to get like yeah. a big ribbon and like a big cut cut scissors oh cut man it cut it yeah no problem behind you cut it with a song in the back cut it cut it Cut it, cut it and you hang on, because YouTube's gonna, you know, the copyright parents. this. So. <laughs> <The> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your yeah. price is way too high. Yeah. <laughs> Ten dollars. <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be cool, man. Those big scissors, huh? Yeah, that That's would be cool. Idea. Yeah, we'll have to make it out there. Maybe shoot a vlog or something. Let's do it, man. And, uh, see how that goes for your opening. Um, but going to Hi. you, Taco. Um, I know you've been working hard too with, uh, you know, seeing you on IG, working hard with the hey, uh, I'm personal trying to. Stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to. Like the thing about. Um, like the fitness industry is like there's just so much to it oh yeah so man. much to it um good and bad though oh yeah good, good and, and bad, bad. there's yeah, some bad yeah. signs to it oh yeah but like um the nasm itself this nasm cpt is what i'm going for and that alone is like it's, it's not a big book but it's like a lot in it that i wasn't ready for oh um, yeah like man. some yeah. people get like their bachelors or associates and then like they they know anatomy and they study for that and they talk about like the the rotator cuff and stuff like that. Oh, right. Connection. And um, they go in there knowing the terminology. Yeah. And I'm using my phone to Google, like, yo, what is a gastronomius? Like, <laughs> and now, like, like just studying, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. trying to take notes, bro. And then, um, yeah. this is this is the funny part, right? The funny part is, uh, last Monday, I didn't know that I had, because I was, a, I thought I was ahead. I didn't know that I actually have due dates for my homework. Oh. I didn't know. <laughs> So I turned in a quiz on Monday because I had, I know, because I, they, didn't, they didn't tell you, they don't like send you an email or anything, they just like, they, they welcomed everybody and then it was quiet. And I was like, okay, they welcomed everybody, alright, so I'm going to keep on studying, so I kept studying and just take my notes, discussion questions, and I just turned in a quiz on a Monday, and then I, I saw, like, okay, I'm probably ahead, you know, because I've been studying oh for gosh. a while, I yeah. took like three weeks to study one chapter, like really deep, you know, right. and then it was like Monday evening and I found out like Tuesday morning that... By the way, that last quiz you just got done was due yesterday. And I was oh, like, whoa, I just man. turned it in yesterday, so I, I barely made yeah. it. But I thought I was ahead. So now, like, I spent three weeks on one chapter, one module. Module, that's right. Yeah. That's what they're called. And then the second module is what I'm, what I'm on, thinking I'm ahead. I'm actually on track. 
and I have to get it done in one week. Mm. The thing is, I just got done with module two, and I passed. So yeah, now I'm on module okay. three. I got it done in one week. So thank God, thank God. <laughs> but it's just a lot, bro, because it's so much like reading and studying. It, it really is, so and especially like because you know I started doing that in the beginning or what, last year or something mm-hmm. like that. I forget which module I was on, but it's like it it's so in depth it that is. it's like whoa. You know, I'm just trying to learn how to lift weights. You know, like I'm <laughs> yeah. trying to teach people, but it's like, whoa! It's a, there's so much to it. Mm-hmm. There's so much to it. So I gave you full credit for that. Yeah, man. I'm trying to do like certain study materials, like um, it's like good I chew gum. Yeah. I chew gum when I when I when I study. So I you take gum. the test. With, yeah, with take gum. Yeah, take the test with gum. And then, study like, habits. It really yeah. does help. Yeah. And I, I I hear it with the, with the videos, and I I read it. And then I write Those videos and I are so speak plain, it. though, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're so big. Oh my gosh, lunge. It's so, eh, eh. It's <laughs> so yeah. weird. Yeah. So you so. chew gum, and that helps you, or it's yeah. like a study habit. A study so, habit. Like yeah. if you're studying, like say for instance, eating like peppermint gum or something. Okay. You want to take the test having peppermint gum. Exactly, and your so, body remembers. Or like that. some people like smoke cigarettes. I have so many tricks, dude. Yeah, like some people <laughs> smoke cigarettes yeah. when they study. Alexa just went off. I don't know how that happened. Alexa, stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so some people like smoke cigarettes mm-hmm. and then when they take the test, well, you can't really smoke in your class, so, right. you know, that's, that's like a life hack, you know, yeah, I, I it is a life hack, what, what are, uh, speaking of life hacks, do you guys know any? Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like he I'm knows sure a lot of all of them, huh? I use towels in my, my, um, dryer to make my, make my clothes, like, softer. Really? Yeah. Say so, so. You have towels with wow. like your your shirts yeah. and like you know like little towels. Yeah. Really? And it makes sure like your clothes softer. softer. Yeah. It takes the moisture out of your clothes faster. Oh, oh. Baby, you know. and I use dry heat, so yeah. like so. How do you learn yeah. all your life hacks? Do you guys look them up on Google. Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest. Pinterest. Do you have a Pinterest? I don't have a Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Pinterest. Uh, no, it's okay if you do. I'm, I'm the type of guy to ask a lot of questions. No, no. I mean you know, that makes sense. If you guys know any life hacks, comment down below. We'd love to hear. Right? Yeah. That is so funny. Pinterest. Do you have any life hacks, bro? You know what? The only life hack I can like talk or think about is remember when like you're younger and you put like a baseball card in like your the spool of your bike and it like. Oh like, yeah, those it sounds, makes it yeah. sound like a freaking dirt bike or something. That like, makes me think of like. That's the only life hack I can think of. That makes me think of like the fan. You know, when you stand in front of the fan and you start talking like. Oh, it goes. Luke, oh, I am your father. Yeah. Like, if you want to sound like a robot. If you want to sound yeah. like a robot, and then there's a life hack. You life guys hack definitely right try that out. I, I'm trying to think of another. No, your tongue. One. Your tongue. I feel like well, in the military, we learned how to like fold. <laughs> Like an entire day's worth of like clothes into like a tiny little thing like that. Oh, like yeah. a little roll. Like packing pack more. Yeah, packing more sufficient. That'd like, be good for traveling. I don't, I don't really think about any I do other. military style. I just roll into little rolls. I just yeah, shove everything like the in there. Just, I just shove everything in just there. Just shove I mean, it works too. Um, but I mean, going from there, so when are you hoping to get this all done by your personal uh-huh. journey? So this is what threw me off is because my guided study ends on August 6th. So Ooh, your dance. That's what I'm taking the exam, probably. Okay. Say again. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> what? Okay. What? Okay. Say what? <clears throat> the, yeah. the guided study ends. My it ends at August August sixth, which is H H I. I don't uh, think it's the sixth though. Okay. I, I heard it was like. I thought it was maybe the third or something like that. I thought it was like the ninth. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. we'll figure yeah. it out. Make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that exam? So at this yeah. far along with uh, the NASM or whatnot. Mm-hmm. What are some things maybe you can share with the audience that you didn't know? Mm. Um, even if it's something real small, what you can share with the audience of uh, maybe a couple yeah. tools they can use or tricks they can use. Like I found out how to how to find my heart rate um, training zones, like training zone one, training zone two, training zone three, and like um, what training zone one actually does, which is for me at my age, 170 pounds, 6'2 height. Yeah. Um, my training zone one is probably around like 120. 116. That's my heart rate where I'm just building recovery. Okay. Um, so if I'm around 116, I'm slowly recovering my body. And it helps with, with aid, you know, with that. And then training zone two, <laughs> build, slowly builds yeah. endurance, you know, yeah. which is like what, 145, 155 for me. But that's my heart rate. Uh-huh. I build endurance from that point forward. So like a really good game of basketball. Okay. Mm-hmm. Training zone three. Which you guys broke the court the other day, remember? Oh I think you God. dunked it and then it broke. You dunked it. <laughs> I'm trying to dunk. Going I off topic, but you want to explain that to them, that situation? Well, I didn't do it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I know <laughs> that, but like, yeah, so, so the glass was shattered on the back of the 
what is yeah. it called the rebound the, the backboard backboard the yeah and no one could play for like a yeah. month and we just kept saying it was taco yeah obviously because my LeBron. Height. it's my weight right yeah yeah it's pretty up there but anyway yeah. so yeah <laughs> going <Stop> back to <laughs> that. Damn. so training zone so this is interesting then training oh. zones i never really i i, I guess i did like think about that because like the beats per minute or mm -hmm. just doing cardio or something but that's pretty cool then um, so you're saying your endurance rate's what, 140? 145 to 155, I'm starting to build endurance. Where my peak uh -huh. training zone, which is zone three, mm -hmm. is um, where I build speed and performance, and that's crazy. Okay. I build speed, my heart rate needs to be like around 171. Right? Okay, okay. 170, that's, what do you mean speed, like as in like sprinting or? Yeah, for okay. example. Okay. That's okay. how you build that, it's like having your heart rate like 171, and you know. Oh, okay. Did you even track know. or like any? I never did track, but no. I was never a runner. Oh wow. No. Well, I have legs, but I was never a runner. Yeah. Wow. Okay. For sure. I know you and you did wrestling too. Yeah, I was a wrestler. Wrestling. Yeah. I was a little low to the ground, so I was able to. Yeah. You know, get in yeah. there. What did you you play any sports? I think we touched upon this. I just this. dance, bro. Dance. Okay. I dance in culinary. Okay. So what was that? Culinary. So you know how to cook? Cook. Ooh. I learned how to prep. Oh, okay. <laughs> prep. So I'm like really prep. good at cutting and stuff. Yeah. I know my my books, right? Uh, nice. The temperatures, what to do. But cooking wise, like seasoning, that's not my. Oh, not your thing. No. Weren't you like cooking like a big breakfast this morning? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I think this guy knows how to cook. Yeah, yeah I think so. If if I if open I his say own that, catering business, <laughs> if I say that, I gotta cook, and I don't want to cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you single? I am single. You know how to cook? I know how to cook. Oh, 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 plug, plug, plug. 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 <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. Bro. What's going like on that. here? Um, yeah. But to you know, to keep moving forward. He's blushing. He's blushing. We gotta Transition. rotate Transition. this. Um, <laughs> I did, uh, in fact, today this morning I got a phone call, and this is news for you guys. Oh. So I got a phone call from the business admin who is handling all my business stuff okay. um, mm. for the playground mm -hmm. uh, we're up and running man we're so we're good um, it's really cool yeah they're just doing all like the government paperwork and, mm. and whatnot Whoa. And I should be receiving the official like package like welcome to the bit business world or whatever mm -hmm. um, the end of this month so nice, I haven't ordered those shirts uh, quite yet that mm -hmm. I was telling you guys about um, I want the reason why is I, I want to play it smart you know I want to mm -hmm. make sure I had all this stuff um, put like set in stone mm -hmm. so that way I had like my business, you know, tax ID number, yeah. all that. Because yeah. you know, there's so much to it that I don't want to uh, necessarily like ruin my chances of ever keeping a company, okay. you know. So I went ahead, purchased um, the license or, or whatever, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And shout out to LegalZoom. Legal it's not this is not a sponsored podcast by LegalZoom, but I do want <laughs> to give them a plug on if you guys need help starting a business, That's good. I would I would say go through LegalZoom. It, it, they made everything so easy and very convenient. So Derek. I want to thank Derek again for Derek, helping yeah. me through this process and Steve Thanks and a Derek. couple other guys. I do appreciate that. Um, I I don't know if you guys have seen it, but on Instagram I created a podcasting. Um, handle yeah. or a channel for yeah. us to go ahead and post these videos on. So if you guys get a chance, make sure you check us out on Instagram. It's going to be at the playground podcast mm -hmm. and you're going to see a, a new logo of what I designed for us um, for this channel or that uh, Instagram page. So you know, make sure you check that out. We're going to have some things coming up on that. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my clothing page, it's called so my, my, my company is the PG Threads, meaning the Playground Threads. Mm -hmm. And you can find that also on Instagram at the Playground Threads, which clothing is going to be launching very soon. Mm -hmm. um, actually, today I'm probably going to order all the transfers, the, the, like the, the prints, you know, you put on okay. your shirt and mm -hmm. press them. I'm going to be ordering the transfers and I'm going to be ordering the shirts. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a limited stock, guys. I'm going to have only 25 pieces per colorway. Okay. And um, again, I don't really want to make this whole business eat podcast talk but mm -hmm. I did want to just like tell the audience really like I just couldn't believe that this is like happening really yeah. you know it's just it's I've been non-stop with this 24 7 it seems like just not even sleeping not even like I don't want to go to bed because yeah. I like I want to do more you know yeah. like, I yeah. constantly want to keep doing more we got our first athlete David Rivera I don't know if you guys saw that on the page oh, yeah, yeah. Um, got our very first athlete so I want to shout out to David Rivera he actually plays first this weekend 
with men's physique um, oh, for nice. muscle contest, I believe it was in San Diego. And he also did a classic physique show, which it's incredible. If you guys you know get a chance, make sure you check him out. But we're uh, happy to bring him on board uh, with the playground to the playground fans. Awesome. So, awesome. Yeah. So we have him, and then we have a lot of different things coming up. And like I remember you said in the last podcast, it was you were saying what's some more things to expect. Well, I think we. Um, especially with the Facebook Live over there, or Snapback Gang, or whatever they say. I like that. Um, we love you, though. Um, but I think hats, dude. I, I really think I'm going to make hats next. Hey. Uh, maybe some Snapbacks, and uh, just like the dad hats. I think dad hats are really amazing. popular. Yeah. I love wearing them. So Same. that's something that's probably be coming up soon. Mm -hmm. um, some things to expect, for sure. Nice, and um, really, it's, it's just amazing. You know, even getting all these phone calls from like these different agencies about yeah. even like insurance and things you don't really think about that goes into business. Um, I, I guess I never really thought about. Um, you know, they're giving me calls and it's just, it's like so cool, but it's it's kind of scary at the same time because right. it's like, dude, yeah. this is like something that I've never really expected to do at like this young of age. I always thought like, oh, later, oh, later, yeah. later. Yeah. But when's later? You know, later right. is now and. If you want to be great, I mean, you got to start taking those actions, you know, yeah, now that's really that's as good. a life, as a life um, a thing. So good, that really brings us into like fears, you know, like right. I feared, you know, failure. I really, that's one thing I really fear is like failing. But I think yeah. when you focus on that, like we were talking last time, mm -hmm. if you focus on fear, I think more fear will come, you yeah. know, yeah. And if you focus on that positivity and the creativity of whatever you're trying to do, mm -hmm. I feel like that's more a powerful message than you know, oh, what if this happens? Oh, what if this happens? Or, you know, am I not going to make enough money? Can I not make a living? Like, you have to be more focused on, like, providing people with mm. a solid, like, piece of information or a sol a, like something positive to, mm -hmm. to yeah. help impact their life. Um, but, I mean, really, again, it just yeah. brings us into fears. And um, I'm sure we all have fears we can all relate, mm -hmm. whether it's, like, you know, being scared of the dark or being... And I still use a nightlight, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there's some birds going crazy. But no, I'm just saying, like, it's like, you know, we all have some sort of fear uh, in our yeah. life. And yeah. it's it's what you're going to do to overcome that fear. You know, mm -hmm. every day you can work on it. Like, even for me, it's like heights, kind of. You know, I can be on a bridge or whatever. It's cool. But I think, like, skydiving and, like, even being in a plane yeah. sometimes, I'm just like, what the heck? This is nuts. Yeah. So I think one day I would I would probably skydive just to just eliminate that fear. Yeah. Just something I don't want to do. I, I probably would just do it. Yeah. You know? mm. What about for you guys? What's what are some fears? I think one of my biggest fears is getting injured. Like really Yeah, bad. you know what? Like it's scary. Like I, I imagine myself getting injured where I can't dance, I can't lift, and I'm like, what am I gonna do? You know? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's one of my biggest passions. And like I remember when I deadlift sometimes my ego gets the best of me. And then even Anthony's like, I thought you said we we're gonna go light today. <laughs> I thought you said we we're gonna go light. Adding today. plates, adding plates, and then it gets the best of me, I get excited. Yeah. But, um, well, that's. I think that's just because you know we're all there and we're just like, oh, this is yeah, dope. Yeah, you know, like we want to keep going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But you know, my biggest fear is getting injured. Um, that um, is actually yeah, kind of scary, though. That, honestly, that's suck. I, I wouldn't. Think, I mean, that, remember you guys know that I got. Remember I got injured what last year and mm -hmm. my yeah. back was just killing me. And it's all from deadlifting, so it's yeah. You got to be very careful. Which is how I met this dude. I met this dude deadlifting for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Keith, man. If you're watching, I appreciate you showing me how to deadlift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I met these guys. They're really cool. Way back. Um, yeah. How about for you, Ant? Um, uh, well, for I heard me. a little bit of thing about a little frog. My. Well, my, besides my, the Lord my, Jesus my Christ. You. There you go. Besides the friend of God Himself. Yeah. I've heard of frogs. I don't like frogs. <laughs> what like what is is it just like they're they give you uh they, they give you is it warts? warts? They give oh warts. Gosh. I don't like warts. That is weird. You get a you get a uh, uh, a frog out. A you toad know there's some or big frog? frogs. There's yeah. like there's like there's actually some big frogs out there. Yeah, there really is some big frogs out there. I see yeah. Them. Yeah. And I try to run over them. You know, I try to run. I try to run <laughs> over. Um, I try to kill them. But the thing is, is like uh, they give you warts, and they look so slimy, Ooh. and it's, they're just like they are kind of. They're kind of small. Jump. They're kind of small. They are you know? slow, yeah. And I just hate frogs so much. Um, I'm not trying to say I hate animals. You know, I love animals. Right. I love. Yeah, I don't bugs. want the 
Animal yeah. Federation to jump right. on here. I heard you hate frogs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make People a huge watch poster. Uh, We're watching right now with their frogs. At your, no, yeah, at, your day, pet frogs. Yeah. <laughs> at, at your day of opening, when you cut the, <laughs> when you cut the thing, there's gonna be protesters out there. Yeah, frogs. everybody hates frogs. Well, everybody hates frogs. Throw the frogs on yeah, throw the frogs. I love frogs now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kiss a frog. Um, I definitely. Would be, yeah. I, I think for for me though, in general, I think Taco hit it too. Uh, yeah. This freaking frogs are scary as heck. Yeah. But and another thing that's scary is getting injured because what I do like yeah. can consist of my body and making sure that um, I can move. Um, I got injured a while back. Um, I was trying to do a head spin, mm. and I wow. we we come that's like, like the OG like you go on your head thing? and the spin. Yeah, it's yeah, like oh one of those things where God. it's like. I see it and I want to try it, but I don't know how to do it properly because mm -hmm. I was very self-taught, right? Oh, and so um, I, I remember trying it and I don't know what happened, but something happened where I heard a big kink in my neck and mm -hmm. I laid there for a while and I, I, I've been having like back neck problems since, you mm -hmm. know, and it's just one of those things where it's like I have to make sure I stretch. I have to make sure I take care of my body, especially if you're like a, a lifter, right, or a dancer, or a, active, that, maybe active, active in person. general. Yeah. yeah, you have to make sure you stretch, you take care of your body um, as much as you can. And honestly, when back in the day, the way I would kind of deal with it when it was hurting, mm -hmm. I'm not moving. I'm just kind of chilling. You know, I'm just like, okay, I have to wait for the pain to go away. Mm -hmm. But that, that actually took longer, and it actually made it worse for me, at least. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until like I went to the gym every single day, I actually stretched. I got it warmed up. I was kind of moving it. For me as a dancer, it, it helped me in my movement to not be as stiff or as cold. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if there's any like techniques even for that. You know, we have neck problems. I'm lessons. sure there's different uh, different ways of life hacks. You know, life for hacks that, that you know? we have some. But yeah. that's one of my biggest foam rollers. Good. <laughs> foam rollers. <laughs> foam rollers. <laughs> Bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> Buy the foam roller. Oh yeah, that would be cool. I mean, foam roll sponsored. That yeah, know. man. Um, but yeah, I mean. I keep sorry. My bad. Sorry, we're like so like. They're playing footsies. Um, oh my god! I yeah. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, um, but no, I mean I think. I think that uh, that all sums sure. it all up. Uh, it really does. does have anything yeah, else? Sure. I think we'll stop it. right there with those little frogs. I, I'm yeah. super proud of this guy because yeah. I remember talking to him. Um, the first like top uh, was it the day that we first met Henry? We were deadlifting, mm -hmm. um, and then um, this the next day, kind of seeing you know you see someone again, it's like oh what's up bro, oh, yeah. and yeah. little by little, and then we started just talking that one day, and then mm -hmm. every time we talk at the gym, it's like a really deep conversation. Oh man, and it gets deeper I than like, even like like kind of like when we're staged like this in the oh podcast. yeah, it really does. Sure. It's feeling better though, like talking mm -hmm. like normal. Yeah, it feels like a normal. But, you know, like even at the gym, I just I think it's that that setting and like I just like the blood flow and like just the ideas the keep coming to yeah, me. You know, yeah. so I that's it. where I really see like I get a lot of my um, <laughs> I get a lot of my uh, ideas and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> I get a lot of my ideas there from <laughs> there and here. So definitely. Um, but no, no yeah. you're right, man. No, it's just amazing to see like from from meeting you for the first time and to seeing you um, talk about. The whole gym, mm -hmm. you know, playground, and how it was like an idea to like how it's becoming a reality. Yeah, it's like day in and day out. Crazy. Yeah, and so like true. I think it's good for you to like plug that stuff in. Yeah, and so people can see and follow you like, and they can be like, man, I remember when Henry was first talking about the playground, about the idea of it. To like, oh, now he's talking about like he has a business person behind him. Oh, he's getting shirts now. He's getting hats now. Oh, look at that's the official building. They're doing the inside. I think it's great. You it's know? crazy, man. Dude, I've, I've heard dude, lots. The way you put it like that is is crazy. Right. Yeah. It's crazy to think. I've heard a lot of people talk about like they want their own gym, you know. And then I just when I met Henry and the way he spoke about it and the way he said his plans, I just knew that like this dude's serious, yo. <laughs> like this dude is serious. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've heard that before, you know. Like oh, I want a gym. And then I think ever since Henry, I've heard that a few times. I ain't gonna call anybody up, but like I, I heard that a few times. Yeah. And I'm like, so what are your plans? What are you doing now? What's yeah. stopping you? And then like I'd ask those questions, and they'd be like lost. And for me, oh, like, wow. what's your plans? Well, I'm grinding 24/7, like yeah. with this, like nonstop. And you're like, tomorrow's and, this. And then yeah. what are, um, what did you say? The next thing you said was, um, what are you, what, what are you doing now? And then yeah. what was the other? What are you doing now? Um, what's stopping you? Nothing. Exactly. Right. Nothing. And it's quick. Like it, yeah. like his responses are quick. Yeah. He asks other people sometimes, uh, uh, um, 
that's, that's good though. And you know what? Like, I, I still give those people love because, sure. like, yeah. it's the idea, and I'm all about the idea. And if you follow me on social media and you follow me on YouTube, you know that I'm all about ideas and creativity yeah. and, you know, making things happen, you know, mm-hmm. not just expecting things to happen. Because yeah. I think if you don't make things happen for yourself, they're just, they're never going to happen. Mm-hmm. So I, I appreciate you guys saying that. And it yeah. really does open my eyes up to, you know, keep hustling keep wanting yeah, more sure. and, and I'm going to make it happen man Let's get I, it. I have it I've put it out there um, and I've told you guys and I know you guys believe me and even my audience like I love you guys and you believe me mm-hmm. so and my fiance too she hey. really uh, <laughs> she really does you know encourage me just to keep doing it I mean whether like we see the numbers start racking up and you know maybe now is not the right time but it's like tell me when the right time is you know right. like it's Right. The right time, I think, will never happen. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, you got to take, and this is for all you guys, you got to take advantage of the time you have now because time is one thing you will never get back. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's, unfortunately, like a family member passing away or, you know, it's an idea if you always wanted to chase or a business you've always wanted to open or just something you've always wanted to do, like go travel or do something, you know, you've just dreamed about doing. And one day, you know, on your deathbed, you're going to see that you you're just going to wish all those things that you wish you would have done, you know, mm-hmm. and maybe you've never done a single one, you know, you right. just went through life, you know, average. And I feel like that's, that's where we, we fall as human beings is, you know, you want to always progress and, and yes. don't just settle, you mm-hmm. know? So I always, I don't want to keep oh, going on that. I mean, See, I just, that was, he I, goes I, there. I love, we'll I love, set him up. <laughs> yeah, I just like some, sometimes I'm like I, I go a little like too much diving, but it's like I love it. You got to understand it's like my mind is in a whole different place, a whole different good, ball bro. game, and I'm I'm trying to just do the best I can to provide and make this world a better place. Let's really, do it. Mm-hmm. you know. So that's um, perfect. I want to wrap it up right here. Right there. And you guys got anything else to add? That's it. I think that's perfect. That's yep. perfect bro. So that's good. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys are listening on SoundCloud, go ahead and leave a review. And if you have not hit the bell for notifications, make sure you hit that. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love the commentary. Dancing. But uh, <laughs> thank you guys again. And we have. We constantly are having a blast with this stuff, so yeah. um, we'll see you guys next week. Love you. We're out.